Oh man, yeah. was, no, I was kidding. But th- this is the thing, right, guys? I, you know, when we talk about pricing, and maybe I'm I'm a sucker, but I like if if Ethan was selling just a collection of the Dale Keown Cyber Frog art that he's made so far, and it was twenty pages or ten or fifteen pages, I'd pay twenty five dollars for that if it was on nice paper. I mean, man, there's just some stuff that you know I'm so excited about. It, I don't even think about that kind of stuff. Oh, Killing Joke. That's a great example of a story. Oh, love that book. Tungsten for uh, $5 again. Thank you so much, buddy. He says, Killing Joke is around 48 pages. I like Killing Joke. More books like that would be great. Self-contained story with the possibility of continuation. Um, They would be. I mean, but Killing Joke is like a classic, isn't it? That's like... I think that's difficult to obtain. The reason Killing Joke works so well is because you already know the characters. So it go to you know have a forty-eight page book where you don't know the characters. You know that's kind of asking a lot because you really have to introduce you know the main idea of the story and all that stuff. Uh, it works. It was, it was always been around for years. Before that Killing Joke. Uh, that was just the way the book uh, came out. Uh, uh, I don't really know. I don't know why I don't care. I don't know why it uh, matters that that Barbara gets shot. Camel, do you want to read? Camel's uh, a good that. Camel is a good artist, uh, but let's be real, he's no Rob Arnold. Well, <laughs> Rob Pocket. Took like about ten minutes. Well, speaking of all this business with creating books and everything, um, I have a very generous audience here with the Super Chats. Uh, On top of that, I do have the option to open up memberships. And uh, essentially the state as it currently is, is I'm funding the creation of uh, Fractured Mind with Super Chat Money. Um, it is awesome. It's uh, they get that that's sort of like the the blessed position that you were kind of mentioning earlier, Rob. You know, we, I yeah, have man. that Amazing. luxury that not many others do. Um, I would also like to um, you know, get a bit more. You know, serious about it, and I know I've said I've talked about doing trading cards and stuff with membership as well. But would, I, I want to put it out to the chat if I did, if I did start a membership, would it be something that people would be interested in? It's like seeing the going behind the scenes because the artist that I'm working with, you know, he's continuously sending layouts, pencils. Who is the in progress. <laughs> nice. uh, I said it's a he, so that narrows it down. Um, uh, that sort of thing, and like to me, this is a way that I can actually. Um, I'm not Phil. I'm not saying we're not getting the ARO card, but I'm just talking about you know to to get the ball rolling. Uh, you know, a way that I can actually actually bring that that price down. Uh, when I, when it goes to crowdfund, is if you know I can essentially you know, not have to put up massive amounts of capital that like, I just don't have on um, you know up front like that. And I just I just I guess I wanted to throw it out to the chat and see what they thought about it because I do I already have an incredibly generous chat with the super chat. Super um, chat. So I don't want to like. You know, get too crazy with it. Uh, Andrew Dennison, five dollars. Ego specific. I see myself as funding someone's dream who might never see their work in print. If I get a good book, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I actually look at it a bit like that uh, as well, Anton. I really do. So, you know, a, a lot of these things, and without the crowdfunding, with you know the opportunities that we're afforded through YouTube and the network that's been set up with Comicsgate. Um, these things just wouldn't get made. 
wouldn't be supposedly hidden. Supposedly the, the, the realm the, the, the contains some kind of exist. terrible secret like, if Valdi wanted hidden. I, but yeah, I, who knows, I would, really? Yeah, dwarves are strange. And and now if I didn't have yes, I realize I'm a dwarf. Be Rob, but, can I show something while you're uh, talking? Can you make this big screen? I just want to show people who yeah. have seen Antoine's chat. People who have been backing those pharaohs. Oh, this is a page I've been working on oh, today. What? Nothing? Oh, Look at that blood splatter. That is uh, beautiful. This is only like possible because of Comics Gate, guys. I love Comics Gate. I've been backing books. The guys in the chat, I haven't said this to Camel Moon yet, but I when I watch the Jack show, I have been nearly hospitalized from laughter. But when I was watching Camel Moon a couple episodes ago, and you showed the guy falling okay. all the way down the stairs. Let's get started then. The uh. clip, I died. <laughs> I was like pounding the coffee table and wheezing. And it is great to be on a stream with you guys. And this is the stuff that I get to do and publish. It's, it does take time to make it, it. There's a lot of work. But when you get pages of this, I want you guys to go, wow, yeah, but this is absurd. I'm doing a gouache hand-painted book and Comics Gate is making it possible. And I can't tell you how much I want to, you know, literally, you know, blood, sweat, and tears that I want to put into the page so that when you guys get this book, you're like, I want to put this on my shelf and I love it. And my God, please, Shane, don't talk about Black Sad when I'm holding my work up. Uh, it makes me feel like, dang, now I'm picturing way better artwork. But anyway, <laughs> Black Sad's awesome. But this is this is what it's about, guys. You guys make this stuff that I'm incredibly That's amazing. CG. Can't overstate that. Now please take me off screen. <laughs> well, let's just leave you there. Shit. <laughs> Rob, why are you making fun of Shant's drawing? If I did that, you would be like, all I'm seeing is a purple blob. <laughs> I can see I can see a face, I can see a beard, I can see Don't forget to wash your hands. And form, taking life. Breath. <laughs> breath. Going into art, Michael. With yours, I see... I feel nothing. My, my children think <laughs> that Comics Gate is an Australian movement. I want you guys to know that. They go, oh, is Comics is. Gate in Australia? And I go, well, well, no, kids. It's just that Rob and Michael are in Australia. And they're like, and those other two brothers. And I'm like, yeah, Australia. yeah, yeah. They're, they're also in Australia. And I go, you know what? It is in Australia, kids. It is. It's an Australian movement. You lie to your children. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, you bet. I would never. Since birth, they think I'm their dad. Uh... Idiots. <laughs> I thought you liked that. Touche. All right, that was funny. <laughs> uh, I, I sent out a link make... to, to a ringer mic. I don't know if they'll pop in, but oh, I hope they do. Oh, shit. Oh, should I send this to Kyle Rob, as well? Rob loves. It's so much having fun. People yell at oh. me. Uh, make fun guys, of seriously, chat. Do you guys love it when Kyle just piles on Mike or John or Gabe or anyone else? I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> the Killing Joke discussion continues. Uh, mm -hmm. Tungsten says, I give Killing Joke to someone who does not know much about Batman, and that person can still enjoy the story. Disagree with that Mooney again. Get it right, Camel. Okay. Oh. It's been five dollars to disagree with me. Good for you. Who but okay, okay. <laughs> but who doesn't know about Batman? Are there people who don't know about Batman? You still have to tell a That's story like, in a vacuum though. What is you know, this place? Like you are standing at the entrance I, to Evaldi's I mean, yeah, workshop. That, I don't know if that's a, a testament great to the ingenuity I mean, of dwarven engineering. Just because. Why people, does it I mean, smell there so are bad? People who don't know it's about quite that. foul, that is isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but uh, quite simply, Evaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequence. Story with the opportunity to so move forward. So, Evaldi created this mist? No, one would no, no Niflheim has always been a land of mist. When and snow, like that endless snow, Phil and, says and wind, and, and, and ice. Know. Really, it's never been a pleasant hmm. location. But Evaldi found a way really? to harness They've all that frosty man. power and built marvels that shot that the boy. realms of both man and god. Wow. And, and look, I'm, I'm yes. not even saying that, that wow. that's wrong. Like, yeah, that's still, it's, it's, it's possible, sure, to do a book like that. It's just, it's asking a lot of a reader. 
And I don't know if yeah. you're going to hit it out of the park every single time. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, if that's if that's your model, I mean, you'd have to be you have to be amazing. Um, I don't know if it's easy for everyone to do something like that. Oh, that's fine. Always happy just to check. So I kind of think back to the the twenty five dollars thing, right? It, my kind of my point is that I think as a creator, you have to take some of that responsibility onto yourself and and give good value for what you actually. Right? If you can't do the forty eight with all the extras, then you have to make count. What the fuck? Do something that provides value because when people look at that kind of color, they're looking at people like me and they do and they give great value. I don't know. I think. I mean, he has that photo. Yeah, oh, 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 I don't know if you shared it on Twitter or something or something. Somewhere. Maybe. Because you should show that because that's what you you when when I say fifteen dollars plus extra shipping, and we should talk about that as well. Oh yeah, um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, um. It's not just the book. Mm. It's never just the book. When it comes to the crowdfund, it's a whole bunch of other stuff. And I know there's people out there who don't care about that stuff. There are others who really do and really appreciate it. And we can be always be a little smarter as creators to come up with things that people actually do either want or they didn't know they want. Or they want. Gives that feeling. Gives that feeling that they've got value for their money once they get the book in hand. Uh, and it's not for two dollars. The first TMNT was forty pages, Camel. It can be done. Yeah, Camel. Can't you just agree? Yeah, I, with I, what, oh, what the fuck is wrong with everybody? It can be done. <laughs> I don't know what you know. I, I'm not saying it can't be done. I don't think the killing joke is the best example of it. You know, I think books out. Like, like, for example, like, I don't know, I haven't read it in a while. Is Batman's origin in The Killing Joke? I know it is in the first four pages of Ninja Turtles. So, the oh, setup yeah, is there. Yeah. You just walk. The chat, all the chat are asking, Camel, is just be Frank Miller. Just be, <laughs> yeah. uh, um... Who else? Who else can say? Al Moore? I mean, just be these living legends. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Because that is it, too much to ask. I'm trying as hard as I can. I mean, it's, it's, you know, the exceptions are not the rule. Usually, if anything, you can Because you can name all the times it's happened. Then that means that it's not that common. Raiden says, bro, do you have a photo of... Do you have that photo of your pack? <laughs> Hey, I promised it can be done. And someone says, Rob that package I sent you a So, um, this is what you get. In addition to the book that you paid for, which was $15 yeah. plus shipping. You're getting a whole bunch of prints, getting a sticker, uh, and you're getting Rob's insane cheap time that he wanted to spend making a wax stamp and hand coloring that because I, I wanna, doing that. Dude, I want to fucking. It's, it's, it's nearly killed me. You don't understand. I, I'm. I'm I do understand. I do understand. I thought you were insane to offer that this time around, but I'm very grateful. This is what I'm saying. So, you know, if you went to a convention, I don't know, you guys go to conventions. I've never been to a comic book convention. How much would this little package of prints be? I don't know. I can tell you about Can you guys answer that? Yeah. I've seen, I've seen, you know, I've seen people sell four or five prints for like anywhere from 15 to 25 to $50. It depends. I mean, I've seen, I mean, yeah. you're talking about when I went to, uh, 
what is it, WonderCon in San Francisco. I've had, you know, people that were former students when they're out you know, showing little prints of their characters, and they're like, you know, five or six dollars a print. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, so, like so this is five. this is like free stuff that Rob Need a fresh has upgrade added before the tackling campaign. the realm tears. Um, Not that I if condone you want such it. an action, yeah. mind you. Uh, I've got you the Lucent have. package here too, as well. If you want to, me to show that. I mean, only if you don't want to wreck it. I know you, uh... dude. I'm so I bad about that. You, I need to send you another one, Sharp. I'm gonna no, send you it's... another package. Oh, so if you want to hear ridiculous. crazy, what's, what's he done to the first package that he needs a second? No, package? he just he doesn't want to. I just I like... got my package caught in a door, and <laughs> no, so, so... he got it stuck in the zipper. No, Hold I on, know, the down. Let me grab this up. for two. Well, let me grab this one for two pounds. We're grabbing shipping. Camel and Cecil would make a great pair. There you go. Hamsel or Seamol. Let me go full Seamol. screen to shout. Okay, guys, here's the deal. You guys are done. I'm just telling you right now. 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 I backed up on how beautiful I thought the artwork was. Now it's not put in the But, The ginger root pants, which I had to run these guys into the lore, mad So I had to run. Actually, several prints, I'm saying. I got several prints here. Prints this size at a comic convention that you'd pay to fly to or, you know, to, uh, and then get into and then get these. Look at the quality. These prints from my camera is doing it justice. Oh, but, they are um, amazing prints. They're the one I got the exact same. I did the exact same thing that uh, Russ Leach did with his prints. And look at this guy. With how they came out. Stunning. These prints are. Oh my god. I love this one. This one is. My, like, the cover is of course exceptional. But I think that um, <laughs> I didn't know that I would get a print of it. She has no nose. Oh, that's my camera's fault. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. <laughs> Let me see. Nope, still no, no nose. nose. No, no there nose. is a nose. There is, I swear there's there's a nose. nose. There is one. There is one. Yeah. And so so that's just the prints, and then that's the magnet. I swear if I get water on this, I'm going to be so pissed at myself. But anyway. Well, that's part of the drama. I put the top and Farlin art down. Oh, we got about this. The ginger root hand. I thought it was a really great touch for this book. The explanation of the ginger root hand. In here. That out. Hold on a second while I whip this thing out. So, this was a really cool little card that explained the origin of the ginger root hand, which I'm sure the chat knows full well. And then, let's see here, we've got the sticker, which I love, in here, which has got the Lucent uh, comic. By 6AM Comics. Yep, by 6AM Comics. I mean, I haven't even gotten I to will come both to you the book your and the dreams, and I will like you. I'm going to leave that in there just because I'm damaging it. But we've got. If you wreck it, I'm going to send you another one anyway. Sean, so don't worry. I'm starting to. I'm really. I don't feel good, Michael. I'm feeling. I <laughs> like feel like I'm pass out. I love this book, guys. Look at this pop artist. Okay, so here's, here's a big thing I'm thinking about. You got a perfect bound book. It's got one of those beautiful, like the original soft cover of The Killing Joke. Uh, I remember getting that in the devil. It's got um, a spot finish on it. What do you guys call it? I always call it a spot varnish, but I know it's probably UV not like spot that. gloss. UV spot gloss on it. The color repro is amazing. And then the color, uh, it, it, here's a big thing for me. I love the, the books when I back books that they're signed. That's the really good shit, though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't make me sit on my first job. I would, without a doubt, pay. <laughs> Damn it, Rob! Occasionally, it doesn't happen. Yeah, one out of ten Rob jokes are gold jokes. One, 
Oh, come on. 99 this... out of... Uh, one out one of, of 100. Paper <laughs> so you can see the color repro. This is making the color way too contrasty. It's so much more subtle and beautiful. But guys, this book, I would easily pay 25, 35 if it was from an indie publisher. And then a nice, again, look at that, that beautiful finish. And nobody does pre-press like Michael does. So I think that that's really what it comes down to. If someone were to ask me what I would be willing to pay for this package, um, and I don't know what I paid plus shipping, but anything under 45 or 50 bucks. A preview comic in there as well so yeah okay there you go perth says hang rob on, that is your joke where for can the you year. get this where can you get this book where is it available? gg now oh. i don't the spinning blade the are looking at? favorite when does this happen i always thought them a bit now garish. you're looking at now sir everything that happens well, don't now buy is anything happening on my now account. what happened to then past that when just now wear it now now Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. That thing's up on the I know, I'm feeling so much better just to get this back. I hate being a nerd, but I love it. Uh, well, how long down this is, but this, this, this one's bankrupt. Very well rated. That's uh, Mo wants you to read this one, Bancroft. Skip actually explained the perfect answer to the page count debate. He cleverly hid it in the script for his comic where Bancroft. I see you're actually enjoying it. Evaldi's workshop. <laughs> right. You've certainly spent enough time here. Uh, Mo or says nobody does pre press like Michael does. Yeah, because the NAACP would be all over that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you know what that is, Rob? The NAACP. I don't think we can actually. I don't think we can actually say the. Yeah, well, the N is not the N word. Look out behind you! Watch your back! Speaking of sieging now, I noticed Bankrupt's fellow's name was something like that. Oh, get in there, brother! Brother! Right. I think was um, very close to the back. You're back! Uh, my up, old, old... Uh, teacher. Uh, this is Woody. Uh, Woody is a guy. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 so... And, uh, and uh, when you when you stand in the Whatever you put in So this chick has boobs, Mike. She's yeah, I mean I guess. Most chicks do. Mm. Is that oh, surprise? All those boobs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not as not as good as Sharp's boobs. Yes. Thank you. I'm, I'm working out though, I'm gonna try to get it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we promised that we promised a discussion on shit. Everyone loves that stuff. 
I made I made a statement on um, I think it was top, where I said by the end of 2022, anyone who hasn't got reasonable shipping prices worldwide on their campaigns um, doesn't want to put them on there in CG. So the network is. Like, the options are now out there for pretty much everything. You want to send to the UK, you want to send to Australia, you want to send from Australia to the US. Uh, we can do that through the net using using the um, Black connections that we've built up. Uh, uh, I'm a little frustrated with it, honestly, right? Because before this latest increase, right, so just take that off the table. There, there were options for cheaper shipping for creators in the US to ship out of the US to Australia, for example. But people just weren't aware or had to look into it. They've just been using the postal service and that's fine, they can do that. But you could have used pirate ship, that, that was a cheaper option back then. And now, the fault to someone that might be So I, I, everyone, I, I helped out Patrick. And the thing is, we're not talking big numbers. He sent me 15 packages. So we're not talking, it only works if you've got hundreds and hundreds of things. Um, Hockey's trying to set this up as a business. I'm just doing it to help out people that I've become friendly with. Um, but uh, much like Critical Blast is doing in the States, Hockey's trying to do something similar here in Australia. Um, I heard Sim, Simon Simpotier, did it for, I can't remember who, but he did it as well. He, he took, he received a bunch Brother, of, the cuffs. of, you know, 10 plus packages, saved the creator hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, but, you know, that, we need someone in the UK thing. to do it. And then we've got pretty much all the major hubs. Seriously, sorted. And, you know, we be can careful with those realm tears. 90, 99% of you, young one? comic skate backers. What shall it you, be? By taking, by taking advantage of the network uh, that we've built up over the last five years. This is why I get frustrated, what? though, Mike. Right? Like, we know our shipping is more than what America is used to pay. America is seventy-five percent of our our market. Uh, so, what what they say goes, right? But in order to be competitive or at least try to be competitive we've had to look into heaps of different options one of which is setting up a business account committing to shipping a certain amount of comics per year uh, teaming up uh, together and possibly with the Bartons to get this done but it kind of it feels to me that a majority of creators from the US haven't put the same sort of effort in in trying to make shipping cheaper for people outside of the US. That's my rap. Are you calling out creators, Rob? No, I'm just saying that <laughs> if not, you don't do what I do, you're I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Rob in trouble. In case anyone's famous. Uh no, yeah, look, obviously look anyone who's running this or you know tried to make money under pressure knows if you really get to sort this stuff out not when 
business is great and business is booming but when business starts to struggle that's when you start looking at ways to uh, tighten screws and trim the fat and all that sort of stuff well the time has come uh, with the whole shipping debacle that's happened over the last year and now we're at a point where a lot of the u.s creators are looking at potentially just this what's the option they either I'm sure to offer, come in handy. I mean, what was the highest we saw a thousand dollars yeah uh, for a what? for a comic like ridiculous amounts good lord yeah um what else was to that? to get a book shipped out or uh um or figure this out with local guys like myself or hockey or whoever wants to do it in the uk or france or canada or wherever and uh it can be done and you the the the, the savings are significant and those savings can be passed on to the uh, to the backers so um i'm hoping that by the end of this year you know the word will get out that uh you know you don't have to continue charging 25 35 40 dollars to ship something to australia or to the uk or wherever it's going um it's uh yeah we you know there's options now so yeah, let's get on it chat. and uh how rj how rj from uh, critical blast like i asked him because i put out that tweet and obviously yeah. i got back a lot of uh this is way too much i never consider buying this uh, okay i'll listen to that i asked rj you know how much would it cost here's how much the comic's gonna weigh i, I would send it to you bagged and boarded all you have to do is put it in the gemini mailer tape it up label it up and send it out um, and he gave me back a really competitive price. I think I could get a single comic out of Australia because I want to print locally because quality control and signing and all that sort of stuff. I can get a single floppy comic book out of Australia for eight dollars US. So, you know, it's not out of Australia and shipped yeah, to the into backer. into the US tracking to the, included to to the backer though not yeah, to, to rj to, to the, the actual back yeah directly to the backer for eight dollars so i mean i think that's pretty good i think like there's people who are paying ten dollars domestic um yeah. maromi says sounds like an opportunity for an import exporter this is what rj is doing this is what hockey's trying to set up it's a little it's a little difficult for hockey because i mean he's just noticing a business opportunity but it, he doesn't really have the um uh, he hasn't really built the trust you know he hasn't he hasn't essentially he hasn't crowdfunded before he hasn't you know done it before so people it, the trust is a big big uh big part of it um you got a super chat mate yep uh appointed law comics uh, thank you so much thank you for hanging out and thank you for the super chat enjoying the Wait. stream guys i sent an image of my cover and interior page to your twitter i was hoping to get um your uh, on your get your streams opinion thank you all right let's check that out be careful think... what you wish for <laughs> what um, are you gonna say cam i think you guys are going about it all wrong i'm just gonna have you know pick up only so <laughs> if, you want, if you want your comic just come to my house i'm over here yeah and, or we can even uh, start a thing press the and, doorbell uh, yeah they'll be in a box out the front. Get, show me your receipt and i'll, I'll Pre- go get it for you yeah. Yeah. press the doorbell and uh camel throws it at your face <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out. he doesn't want to touch you he doesn't I'll want to slide it you. i'll slide it under the door here you go <laughs> uh dan lula says what about printing and shipping each other's books i think with that like it, ideally that would be fantastic but it comes down to a print quality concern um <laughs> Uh, I, I, I put my print quality and Bancroft's print quality right up there. I, I don't know what it, what you're getting in America. So I mean, it's probably really good. It's just I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I don't trust anyone else. I yeah. don't have that. I don't trust anyone I put it in the bag. I didn't want any meat. I went in the bag. Taste pedantic. That's what I have to do. 
Now, on top of that, I, I one that one of the things I think is fine item. So you can't do that. That's sort of from more down the line. Down the line, the, the cheaper, cheaper options. Um, at a more Buy more books, Rob says Perth. I've got so many books, Perth. I haven't I haven't gone through them all though. Uh, look at that guys, it's like a painterly sort of thing. You think this is oh, easy. Yeah, nice. yeah, that's dope. I like it. Free loader. Wow, beautiful. I think it's done digitally. I can see some of the, um, the uh, things that I recognize about digital art. The person uh, in the but, background uh, looks like you, Mike. What, the chick? Yeah. Oh, because she's got the serial killer face. Rob, you did so well with your joke earlier, and then you just got to... You, you gotta learn to fail, you know. No! He's like that, that guy, you know, that guy came on to the show that time. Yeah. Just like, go out on a high rock. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't push it. Drop the mic off. No, the, uh, the face of it, so I think that's the cover. That is way to dox everyone's DMs. Yeah. You don't want to get nice doxed, man. don't DM. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, yeah, it's really good stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, and Rob likes it blood. I like it because of the rain on the. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I get excited to see this kind of stuff because, you know, it's it's the some of my favorite creators are doing things that. Know, are, are not what you think of as typical. Like, I love all wall stuff. I think that stuff is beautiful. I like to think of my comic skate books in a collection, and this looks like something that if it comes together in a book, I love to see it. I, I yeah, no, I think it's like really good. Second um, panel. Yeah. 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 Uh, There's a joke drops. here from Woodrow, gotta bring those K levels down, but I actually do think uh, this, just looking at it. Yeah, be real careful with those, uh, with how dark some of these areas are because, you know, I can just see on the page, uh, like, you could lose all of this, you know, all this detail could, could disappear, uh, all of this here, uh, you know, especially because you're, you're being quite, um, realistic with the, uh, with the black skin tones, um, so, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. Can you zoom in? There you can, there you go. Oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, like on, on this arm here, just, yeah, all, all it is is like you gotta be careful with the, um, especially when you do really dark reds too. Uh, other than that, the one criticism I would have is, and this is just me, take it or leave it, I'm not a huge fan of the drop shadow, the fuzzy drop shadow. That's not really yeah, fun. it looks like, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, it looks good. Uh, are you going to be running a campaign? I would um, say get rid of the white panel gutters because uh, white don't, panel yeah. gutters suck. Yeah. Don't listen to Rob. He has a <laughs> he has a has a bug up his butt about that. But like uh, only. No, really good stuff. You never know when people send you stuff. Mm -hmm. What you can get. That was a pleasant surprise. But, but yeah, like, just on the shipping, like, the final point for me, like, I, I think I'm at the point now, if a book, a single book, is above $20 US shipping, I'm out. It's just, it, it's too much. Well, I, I'm hoping that, um, I'm hoping that we won't be having this conversation. Me too. This time next year. It will be completely done and dusted, other than, other than people saying, look, the, the, the shipping is an issue with the with the fact that with all these crowdfunded books okay there's nothing we can really do to get around that but understanding that the shipping will be there 
um, you know, it's as low as we can possibly get it. Yeah. And I think we are well within grasp of that now. So that's exciting stuff. We, we weren't, we really weren't there at this point last year. Um, and something key that I think, well, just to add that I was thinking about, when we were talking about watch that, is that button they think what if nobody backs this book you know like how many people are really going to back it like when we were factoring the shipping in our nightmares like lauren asked me she's like why do they why are some people only putting 500 dollars as a limit and i go well it helps the algorithm because we'd be dead if, if it funded at 500 dollars like, it'd be over for us you know to try to make this kind of yeah thing. we and don't I, oof. Yeah, we don't recommend the five hundred dollar thing to people who don't, aren't essentially guaranteed to be making thousands and thousands of dollars. So if, you, you if you're not guaranteed, uh, yeah, supposedly at least, you know, the realm tears contain some kind you're of so terrible right. secret. And if that was one hidden, of the things that but came up. Who knows? Really, dwarves are strange. That, and you know, yes, a lot of the I realize the I'm a dwarf. Why the books are priced where they are is because. If you were to make it, if I were to, instead of putting out a $15 book, uh, I put out an $8 book. So let's half it almost. Um, I, I have yes, to literally double the sales. I have to. Otherwise, uh, I'm in real trouble. Do I know I can double the sales? Absolutely not. I don't. I know, I'm sure I'll get more. I know Murph really did well by off, like, really being competitive. With his mm. pricing um but there's, there's just no guarantee you, you just can't know yeah. so you know you've got to make sure that, that we're that we're not doing the kickstarter thing we're not doing the thing where we're going to be you know really struggling starving artists yeah. like that whole thing needs to be put to bed um if if we can if the backers are willing to pay because we're all great staff and you know we were adding extras and all that sort of stuff uh then you know we should feel comfortable charging that yeah. uh and then and then all those guys who can't who aren't going to pay that because they come from a different mindset they're from a different field of comics um let's catch the let's get those guys in a, in a year's time with the reprints and the omnibuses and stuff like that or however long it takes that's my point of view um, can I ask a, a question just to the chat? I'd be curious just because I want to know um, if there's any fellow nerds, but how many of you guys have backed two copies? Oh, can we go back to that piece? Because I was looking down painting. Sorry, can we go go back? What piece? It's not mine. Uh, go to Camels. Wasn't Camels just on screen? You don't have to run off on my account. Uh, yeah. Hang on, let me see. I was just looking down working. Can you zoom on that? Awesome. Uh, this one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool! I love your colors, man. Yeah, colors are fun. You get to, uh, I, I like like doesn't. pastels and neons. I think it just kind of makes it pop in a way that, uh, you know, is appeasing. There was this artist that I really loved, uh, and and we corresponded for a while. Unfortunately, he he died in an accident, which was pretty awful. But his uh, his ta his nickname was a flowering nose. He did a Fantastic Four, kind of a surrealist. Uh, Fantastic Four book. It was kind of like a Jeff Darrow with a more uh, poppy colored Mobius kind of style. Ooh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what his name is and what the title was, but I've always loved that kind of stuff. Are you influenced by European artists or, or animation? Or I mean, I you know, it was funny because Eric he asked me something similar. Last name. And I, I didn't give him a pretty good answer because I don't think I, I don't think I understood what he was asking. But, you know, this, I have different styles. So, with this book, I kind of imagined it's like all of the Hanna Barbera stuff. That it's like, what if all of those characters had, like, you know, their own series and then they got together and they 
But those, those colors back then were very specific colors. And so that's what I'm trying to get here. But I also tried to make it a little modern. So there's like some sort of graphic stuff that I'm doing. That you wouldn't see back then. So, or like even the holograms up here. So there's sort of a, a mixing of a few styles. And then play. I don't know if that is. Show. That's the show thing, yeah, that's the spot on. That's the thing. That's the level. Also, it's my biggest concern with buying future crowdfunding books and a possible loom set of the same thing that you can easily survive by the end of the year if things don't improve. Yeah, that sort of stuff, that uh, well, meta economic stuff, uh, I don't think we can either really plan too carefully for or plan too much about. We just have to deal with whatever comes when it comes. I mean, it's a concern to me as well as a backer and a creator, um, uh, in, especially in terms of the shipping. Charge a certain amount, prices go up. Um, but yeah, I, I just I wouldn't say it's my biggest concern, but it's definitely a niggling uh, sort of um, thing in the back of my mind. Um, uh, Jeremy said, you know, not every, you shouldn't, you know, bank to make necessarily. Uh, you should be prepared. And that's true. Um, did you guys not say niggling? No. It's a, oh, <laughs> uh, no I, I, I wind still like, that's, that's a word we don't have. It's like when I say the, the, the <laughs> cracking. Can't say that one either. Cracking, yeah, that's a, that's a, we had a cracker day, yeah. Yeah, no, that, Hamel, said, Hamel said that about something I said earlier. It's like, oh, we don't say that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so I was saying that. Like... There's little things, because I know we, you did the, on the Australian day, you were like, these are all yeah. terms that we have. And some of them are like, yeah, I've never heard of But like, just in like conversation that Mike and I had, you say things. I'm like, that's not. I like, I know what you're saying. But I. <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, I'm gonna, my head's gonna fall off or something. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I said this is. Do I said yeah, this has been doing my head in. Yeah, that's not like I know and what you're, you're saying. Like, we don't say it. You right. never, you, you never heard that before. Yeah, no, you just say that. Yeah, he, know, yeah, he knows what you're saying, but he, they don't say that. So I was like, oh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, just stuff like that. Anyway, the point I was trying to make. Is, uh, it's true, right? So even if you, even if you make a, even if you charge fifteen dollars. Um, you still have to sell. I think, I, I mean, depending on how you know, really factual, uh, you know, it might be 500 So, just because it's that and you don't have to sell 500 copies, well, I'm going to buy it. And make that amount. So that's not what you um, you should understand that okay, you might only sell one and then you're going to have to work on that lot, but you're going to have to work on that lot, but you're going to have to Nine days has something that you got. It's like a. Alright. <laughs> Never with that word bank, Ross. Is your tongue, your reputation. No one. It's a thing that happened here in Australia. Never had black. <laughs> Like, all of a sudden, there's this big no just because of kind of globalization. Yeah. 
Jr. on Hey Hey It's Saturday. Yeah. yeah. We've got to sh we've got to show the people that clip one day, bang. <gasps> no, we can't because we'll get friggin' struck because it's YouTube. Oh, it's a shame. And it, it didn't matter that that sort of thing, that sort of thing doesn't, you know, doesn't have the same meaning in Australia. We have imported that, uh, you know, that cultural baggage, so to speak. Well, but, you know, I had to ask my wife after all these photos came out of various people in blackface, particularly the uh, Prime Minister of, uh, of, uh, was it Canada? Brother, and I said, said to my wife, I'm like, listen, baby, I just want to know now. Okay? <laughs> baby, like, now. I don't want to see that high school photo. I mean, just tell me now. Like, have you ever dressed up like Aladdin? Have you had any brown face that I don't know about? You know. Just things to keep. Yeah, what, what skeletons do you have in your closet? And she said to me, she said, the kids aren't yours. Like, straight up, that's when I found out. It was rough. But, yeah, uh, that is, I mean, that, I, that I saw hard. that. The wokest people in the world that just cracked me up. I'm like, how is that guy not still dealing with that? That was insane. <laughs> That, 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 that exposes the That's what I mean. Essentially, forgive any, any one, one of my friends, um, he was at work. He had a, he had a like, what's up? Yeah. Oh, like, the guy's just like, yeah, dude. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> um, people are asking what Harry Connick did. Well, yeah, we always had a very famous, uh, with a popular long run TV show. People would come on and do their stupid little skits and stuff. But people from the pub. Yeah, like just and one public. of the exactly one of the most famous ones was a bunch of guys who got on and did uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> They all dressed up as Michael Jackson and they painted their faces white. And it was never an issue. It, it, like, it, and it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a representation. What were they? You know, it didn't look like an old whatever those they were back in the Jim Crow and stage or anything. Minstrel. It didn't look like that at all. It looked like you know a bunch of white guys dressing up as Michael Jackson. And even when you know not too long ago, kids would color themselves when they're dressing up as costumes, you know, that wasn't seen as a big thing. Um, anyway, so, so they did a big reunion thing, they got back some of these like, popular acts to do it again, and they brought in Harry Connick Jr., and he saw it, and because he's American, he was like, shocked. Yeah. Uh, why would they paint their faces black to protect Michael Jackson? It was, it was like Billy Jean. They were dressed up in like Michael Glove. Uh, no, no, it was, it was like eighties jacket. But, um, and yeah, he was like he let him have it. He, I think, he even walked off the set. But it was a, it was a look. You know, a lot of people said I think was right just to do that. Other people were saying, you know, like, um, he's from New Orleans though, and. You know, like, that's a huge part of his, you know, his upbringing and the musical heroes, the people he was around. I'm sure, I mean, to me, it wasn't, because I've been following Harry Connick for years, but being from New Orleans and some of his musical inspirations, I mean, I'm sure he, he's gotten an earful about his whole life outside of what the popular, you know, stuff is, just as a aside. Yeah, and, and at the time, I mean, I think everyone understood where he was coming from. But it's also like, I get that we look like America. Uh, yes. Why? Like, we, we actually don't have black people. Uh, as in Africa. I'm not going over to. Um, <laughs> I'm 
I'm not going to know what to do. Go down well. When you introduce me to a new term, the 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 I'm not it's saying funny. it because I know our chat. Love our chat. What was it, Bank? No, I I was excited. I was like, finally, a way I can kind of use it. Yeah. <laughs> Dying days of YouTube. A way I can get uh, away Bancroft, with Bancroft stripped all the Africans from Australia. Uh oh. <laughs> was it me? Uh, dude, we've I'm gone pumped. past two hours. Oh, have we? Okay. Uh, I just I just want to point out I uh, have noticed and appreciate Camel's use of the chain brush. Thank you. Uh, I noticed you, uh, you did know where to stay. Appropriately when sparingly. I didn't do much work, but I didn't do no work. But I had a good conversation and yeah so these panels will appear in the Painted when they're finished will appear in the uh, Painted Death preview trailer, which will be attached to the mailing list as well. Uh, that, you know, so I'm just very slowly chugging along during the day, getting all the bits and pieces together. So, expect to see that. Mike, Wait. I'm going to put a, a, a series for you. Do you think it's appropriate in, in Comicscape that you're drawing a character in white room? <laughs> yes. Oh, can I Why wouldn't make a been? comment about that too? Um, because I have to say, the one thing I've been waiting for people in CG to jump on board and get is that um, when I see people getting cancelled and the hashtag of all women and going after people like that, I always go, Emmett Till was the first casualty of that, and I take when people say I'm white knighting, I go, you know who the original white knight were? Yeah. I'd love for us to throw that away one of these days. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should lean into all that stuff. That's my yep. thing. Like if people if people tell you something, and it's so ridiculous on the face of it, lean into it. Uh, I don't. I don't give one crap. What these things? He made it. He was talking about the, um, uh, the whole thing with what's his face uh, quartering. Not that it's and time to go. He said, "These are not." Just normal uh, American liberals, we, you know, yeah. Democrats, or you know, we will call them Labour voters or whatever. This is not political. I mean, it, obviously it is political, but it's, it's not what you're thinking. These uh, these Need people a fresh they're not before interested tackling the realm in tears? dialectic. Not that I condone not such an action, on mind to, you. Uh, you know, convince or be convinced or anything. They've made up their mind. And then they're holding you hostage to it, and there will be no inch given on their side. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I like, if, if someone wants to smear Comicsgate as this or that or whatever, I just give them the finger and, like, you know, I oh, would what, never. Nothing? This is what I love. Like, I would never change anything in my book because I'm worried about how it might play off. Yeah. It, it is funny okay. though, like when you first come into CG and so then what you see people talking hmm? smack after you, evolved, like, oh no, dude, that's not, that's not ah, yes, how well, it is at all. It's like Odin this and everything's great. The idea of and, you know, building contraptions that have an open power, mind. So he intervened. That, that's how you come Evolving in, like, you know, you, and you're trying to tell people From that's there, not things what they think it is. Escalated and, and then well, after you've been here a while, here we are. in the same place. It's like, F off if you can. This is why gods are best avoided. It's uh, completely wait, no. switches. Yes, yes, come in. Yeah. I mean, it's totally right. I mean, I like I have I have no inclination to ever um, uh, defend my position to these people. I never do. I see people out there doing it. I don't tell them not to do it, but I'm not going to be partaking in it's it. It's not worth it. Um, or that's, never uh, mind. That's it. the start of Gilgamesh. Cool. Yeah. I like it's... how we each have our very different. Uh, you know, interpretations of them. It's brilliant. Yeah, one of them's fantastic, the other one not so much. It's done by me. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that. I'm gonna end well. it with this. Yeah, that's my slogan. That's right. Yeah. Don't hate me today. I can't remember who I stole that from. 
stealing it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it from me. Uh, no. Have you met me before, Kyle? Is that how yeah. I operate? Says, there will be no inch given. Bancroft won't entertain a conversation unless you can expect no less than eight. Here, take this! Watch out, brother! I'm guessing yeah. that's uh, in the uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Good, good you know. job actually getting some work done. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me on here. It's, uh, it's great to be on here with you guys. Hang on! One of the best channels uh, in comics. It's uh, super chill. You can watch him paint. It's all great. Really good experience. That's uh, on uh, Sean and that's on Jed and Jetty Art. Yeah, and we're almost to twenty k. Uh, and I have to tell you guys this. I, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I have to say this, guys. I love Comicscape. This is the best experience I've ever had making artwork. I'm so glad to be out of the. If you want, if Dan, if you want to come on, if you're available, and yeah, do some drawing, absolutely. Dan. Like, do some drawing. Show me up. Uh, so yeah. Um, as well, uh, Camel Moon, wherever it is. Um, that's his channel, Camel Moon. We do uh, Hail. He does Hail Salad. Is his book. We do Camel Nights. Friday night. Crazy hour. Crazy hour. One thirty a.m. It's a late it's, it's the Conan O'Brien. Late night, exactly, exactly. And it, ha it has to be at that time because it won't get up to it. Uh, Rob Arnold has a channel called The Replicator. He has a book called Replicator 3. The colors on it are exquisite, if I might, can say better, so Better myself, than Michael's so book, well. at least. Well, you know, different. They're different. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Uh, Mo says, uh, I want to invite all these people on to embarrass me. Bancroft just took the fun out of roasting him now that he's got a humiliation fetish. <laughs> there, there's really 69 people in the chat right now. That's right. important to point yeah, out. I don't know what's going on, but thank you nonetheless. Uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. Uh, thank you to everyone sent uh, super chats, especially that is very generous. Uh, you guys are awesome. I will see you in a couple of nights with Late Night with, Late Night with Comiscape. I think this week might be the week that I do the big announcement. Oh, actually, announcement? no, it isn't. No. No, it isn't. It's the week after. This who, who, week is the big launch week. Who, who's big your, launch week. Who's the artist on um, the project, Mike? He's, uh, he's a guy. He's got a name. Uh, it'll be good it'll be good yeah so we're doing that we're doing a bit it'll be a big launch week of launches this week the following week we'll probably will announce the uh, uh who's working with me on uh fractured mind and yeah we'll just all do good stuff thank you everyone for hanging out i will see you soon all right see you later guys Bye. Uh, i want to say i'm really glad michael bancroft is here uh, i mean this uh, i i like uh an admirer of yours I like what you've done. You've carved out a path for yourself. I want to be better friends. Uh, 
uh, Rob, the replicator, I didn't even know you were here. Uh, you were here. <laughs> <laughs> but Thanks welcome, my friend. You are an awesome artist, and we're happy to have you. <laughs> Wait, are you an artist? Yeah. Writer. All right, here's a good writer. Writer. Okay. Well, your folks have a great time. Good uh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The spinning blades were Evaldi's favorite. I always thought them a bit garish. Nothing to your liking. I see. Until we meet again, my friend. Is key. You two really suck at this.
I see you're actually enjoying Ivaldi's workshop. You've certainly spent enough time here. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. Seriously, be careful with those realm tears. Yes, dear boy.
don't suppose you could try keeping it. But no, no, just a, it was a question. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. How about you, young one? <laughs> 